Hi everyone, today is August the 1st, 2023. This is Wes Fryer, and I'm a middle school teacher here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And like my previous school in Oklahoma City, we use a program called Blackboard for our student information system, and that's where all of our class schedules and calendars are, but those are not currently synchronized automatically to Google Calendar. And so what I want to show really quickly here is something that I've done for a number of years now, and this replaces some previous longer versions of this, um, where I'm going to take my calendar events, actually the the next 60 days, and I'm going to be able to import them um, indirectly into Google Calendar. I've got to use the Apple Calendar program to do this, but This works, it's free. If you know a better way of doing this, that's great. Um, But let me go ahead and show this to you. So um, last year, back in August, I guess this was was, uh, back in 2021, so a couple years ago, um, I went ahead and made a video about this um, at my Oklahoma City School. Again, my goal here is this is my class calendar. So our registrar has gone ahead and put all of of our class schedules in here. um, And I wanna get this into my Google Calendar and it's not there. The reason why I don't want to just view it is because I use this program called Calendly, which is wonderful. I use this to schedule both virtual and face-to-face meetings, sometimes with colleagues, um, but with parents as well. And when you look at this, um, you know, it it looks like, hey, look at all this availability Wes has. Well, my my class schedule isn't isn't, uh, in here yet. Um, It needs to be. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to import this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to... To my day and I'm, I've gone into uh, schedule and performance and so this has got my schedule and I can go ahead and look at my entire month schedule and up here in the upper right corner when I click on this I have a couple choices to export the calendar data or I have uh, feed URLs um, and this is the one that I'm using is called the webcal URL and so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that And now I'm going to come over into the Apple Calendar program. And uh, basically what I think I want to do is, if I can, turn off my calendars. So I've got a bunch of things on here that I don't really use anymore. Um, And so I'm just going to try to turn all of these off. And what I want to do um, is subscribe. I don't want to click stop, so sorry about that. Okay, so I've got an empty calendar. Um, So what I want to do now is go to File, and I'm going to choose New Calendar Subscription. I'm going to paste in that link, and I can go ahead and give this a title, and I'll call this uh, Wes's Classes. Now, this is actually only going to have the last 60 days of classes, and unfortunately, I don't know another way to get around this, so I have to do this periodically during the year. I can't do the, the entire thing all at once. But when I go ahead and uh, do this, it's going to import all of my uh, uh, classes that are here. And this is the exact times for them. And I'm going to need to select them. So I'll go ahead and uh, do a command A. I don't know um, why. um, I can, you can go up to edit and choose select all as well. And I'm pretty sure you have to do this in order to select everything. And then I can go to file and I can choose export and the choice I want to try to do is not calendar archive. I'm going to choose that, that top export. I'm just going to go ahead and put this right on my desktop. Okay, so this is going to be an ICS file that is on my desktop. And what I can do now is I can go into Google Calendar and I'm going to go over here under my calendars and go to other calendars. Now, if I just wanted to view this, I could go ahead and subscribe from the URL, but that's not going to let me edit it. and It's not going to put it on my calendar so that it shows up as available or busy, you know, based on that time. So I have to import it and I'm going to select that ICS file that is there on my desktop. Wes's classes. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click import. And it'll tell me how many events it's going to bring in. Okay, and it brought in 129 events. So let's go in and look now at the calendar. And we should ta-da, see all of these classes that have been imported. And let's see when it actually stopped. It looks like it brought in everything through the 29th of September. Um, and I don't have anything starting in October. Um, so if I go over here to my calendar, 
that's exactly that, that was the limit of that feed. So over in Blackbaud, you know, I have my full year's calendar. Um, but I've only got the ability to, to basically bring in two months at a time. But that is really, really wonderful. And so now, like if I if I refresh this Calendly page and I look on the 15th, um, it will show, maybe, it should, maybe, maybe it has to sync up in order to do this. Um, it should show live, oh, I know what it probably is. Oh, I know what it did. Um, oh, shoot. Um, oh, that's right. That's right. Um, I have to, I have to change some of these days because it's going to say some of these things last all day long. Um, okay. Well, I might as well show this because this is going to be, all right. So this all looks great. Here's the difficulty. Um, is this going to be for the B day? Yeah. This is what happens. So I went ahead and imported in here um, this. We have a six-day rotating schedule, and so we have A days, B days, and C days. When it imports events, it shows that I'm busy that entire day because of this B day. Ugh, and this is going to be more complicated than I wanted it to be, but oh well, this is what it is. I want to keep this on here, but I actually want to change that to say that I'm free, okay, because I'm not busy the entire day. So here on the 16th, I've got these these three classes. So let me reload this page now. And it should show that I have availability on that day, but I don't have availability for those times that I have classes. All right. So in order to make these changes, um, I need to do this in bulk and not to do this, you know, one by one, because that would be kind of ridiculous. So I'm going to pause really quick, and I'll be back here in a second. Okay, so the situation here is I have events that I have imported into my calendar, which say that I'm busy the entire day. And that doesn't work for me because I want people to be able to see when I'm available and schedule meetings with me, either within the Google Calendar you know, system where you can check people's availability or using Calendly. So here is the solution which I have found. Um, and I'm running this on my own computer because I have to have admin access to be able to run um, a third party program. And I'm trusting this program, but I've used this before for several years and this works great. This is called Bulk Edit Calendar Events. And so you can download this for Mac or for Windows. And so what I have done is I have downloaded the program. Uh, I close it up, I guess, and I um, have authorized my calendar. And so it opens up a window, and you've got to be in your browser, um, and you go ahead and authorize your uh, calendar, and then you're going to be able to get your events. So um, what I uh, can do, I guess I can make myself small. Um, is you select the calendar that you want. So I've got different calendars for different, um, I think those are Google Classrooms that I have in my personal calendar, but here's my calendar. I'm going to go ahead and um, uncheck the search query here for starters, and I'm going to do a start date at the start of the, of the year, or the, I guess the semester, and I'll go to the end. I've only imported 60 days of calendar events so far, um, but that's okay. I'm, I don't really want to edit things that are in other parts of my calendar. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and click here in the bottom to get events for my selected calendar. So now it brings in basically everything on my calendar for the semester. Okay, this, this is it. This is everything. And now I'm going to click on filter and I'm going to say I just want you to filter for when I have an MS in there, which that's where we have our days uh, for A day, E day, whatever. Um, and I'm going to say apply the filter. So now it is just selected out of these events, all of these, all the ones that are the day, that are the um, uh, days of our rotation. So now I can click on edit and I can change what it shows me as. And instead of showing me as busy, I can say show me as available. Because again, this just says, hey, this is an A day. Um, 
I, I, I'm not busy that whole day. And the way that I'm going to be able to see this working is if I come over here to my Calendly um, and, and I, you take a look at days, like it shows me not available at all um, on the 17th, right, after that. Because these these days it all are all listed inside the program, set inside the program right now is showing that I'm busy that whole day because it's an A day. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply Changes. Now you got to be careful about this because you're making bulk changes to you know your entire calendar. Down here at the bottom, I can see this progress bar going because it's going through all of those events. But it is bulk editing. This is extremely powerful. All of the events in this Google Calendar um, that match this search query Okay, and it's done editing those events. So now those events are all going to be set um, that they're not going to show me as busy. So let's verify this. So let's go to the 17th. Let's click on the C day, um, and it doesn't it doesn't say I'm busy here. It just says that that's public. And if I go ahead and reload my Calendly, what we're going to see is a lot of availability appear here because magically, <gasps> look at that. Now I'm not those those days are not locking that whole day up. Now I still have a couple things, and this is something that that happens with um, the way that we have duty scheduled. So like on the 22nd, uh, I think that's what this is. Uh, looks like I have lunch duty. See this a second shift lunch duty, and so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to change this to not say that I'm busy to say that I'm free. The reason for this is the way that um, the administrator who set this up created it, it is showing that everybody who, who gets this is busy from, the, from Monday until uh, Friday between those times. And so by changing that to say free, um, I've still got that on my calendar. I still have that duty shift. But now again, when I reload, Right now it shows I didn't have any availability on those days, the 22nd and the 23rd. Now it shows that I do, okay? Now, thankfully he's allowed us to be able to edit this and so we can change it. I had to do this last year as well. But basically now, uh, for the next two months, oh, I gotta change this for the 12th. I've got duty starting on the 12th. So one more thing to change. All right, so there's my duty on the 12th and I'm gonna come in here and edit this. And again, I'm just changing it to show it instead of busy to show free. Okay. Yay. So now, for the first two months of the school year, <laughs> I can go ahead and set up my appointments um, because this shows when I'm available and when I'm not. Um, and I've got all this set up, you know, via Calendly. So I hope that was helpful to you. Again, this isn't going to apply, I know, to everybody. But hey, if you're watching all of this, uh, there's a pretty good chance that you've got Blackboard and Google Calendar. And if you know of another way to do this, there is a program, a software program that your entire school can license. Well, here, I'll, I'll, I'll find it and put this in here and give them a shout out. Okay, um, here's the program. It is called SchoolCal, and their website is just schoolcal.co. Um, I will include a link in my YouTube description um, and this blog post um, to a video that I created, what, about uh, two years ago? On uh, a year ago, on June 22nd, uh, 2022, um, I was at the Atlas Conference in Orlando, Florida, and I visited with uh, the representative there of School Cal and learned all about it. So the thing is, your entire school has to license this. I don't think you can individually do this, but if you go with School Cal, all the stuff that I've just covered in this video, um, you don't have to worry about because it just takes care of it automatically. It, it makes your Google calendars match your um, school information system, including Blackbond. Okay, well, I hope that's been helpful to you, if you've endured all that. Uh, my name is Wes Fryer. You can find other links to connect and learn with me on social media by visiting westfryer.com slash after, or you can check out all the middle school media literacy and other STEM lessons that I share on my website, lessons.westfryer.com. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.